Hello, YouTube. Um, this is TL coming back at you. Not showing my face today, only because I'm in the process of uh, grooming myself. So, I'm going to talk to you while I do my normal beauty routines. Okay. This is a response to uh, single black mothers versus their men. Um, uh, placed by sensual events back in August. Um, I love the passion about you, sister. I and, and I can feel it. I can also feel the anger. Um, you seem to be a very, very intelligent black woman. But coming to you as another black woman, I have to say that some of the remarks that you've made are, are flawed. Because Although, and I think I know who you're talking to about the man saying that, you know, black, single black women ain't shit and he don't give black women credit. And uh, he is now back on YouTube under another name. Same name, just a couple of uh, appendices, uh, appendices uh, added to it. Anyway, I'm not going to waste a lot of time on that. But I know what video you're talking about. And... The thing about what's being said in relation to we want a thug, I don't think that men know how to word what they're saying. But it's something that I've been saying for quite a long time. We make terrible choices. You made a comment saying that, um, you know, the relationship starts off really, uh, you know, good and then you get pregnant and uh, all of a sudden now you know everything starts to go wrong but usually you see warning signs prior to getting pregnant just like when we choose men we see who they are when we first meet them men don't change very much in the beginning of a relationship everybody is on their best behavior and where we make our mistake as women, we fall in love with the facade. With any good relationship, you're going to have to put time on it or else you're going to be easily fooled. You'll sit there and you'll date a man for three months and he'll be the best thing since sliced bread. You move him into your house and you just, you know, then shortly after, you discover that everything that he told you was a lie. But guess what? You saw little inklings of that before you moved them into your house. You saw that there were possibly, this relationship possibly was going to run into a dead end before you got pregnant. Now, I'm not saying you. I'm talking about women in general because I'm guilty of that. I, I know countless number of women who are guilty of that. It's not to say that any of us want a thug. We cannot raise our hand and say, like you say, uh, you know, we want a motherfucker to, that come in our house and lay up on us and disrespect us. No one wants that. But we can't blame the men for the way that our lives have turned out. We knew they were not shit when we met them. And I'm only speaking this to you, sister, because I love you. I love all black women. But it's time that we start looking in the mirror about how, what part do we play in this. Now, you saying that you're looking for a solution. You, you have the solution. You, you're looking for the cause. You're looking to see. You, that's just like, you know, you're going to go to McDonald's and ask for a steak. You know, you cannot get something out of it. If somebody doesn't have it in them, you can't make that your man. You can't do it. What will happen is, actually, when we start turning down these men that are no, no fucking good for us, they will start to better themselves. You know why they're not better themselves now? Because we accept the, them and their bullshit the way that they are. And for every one of us who does not accept the bullshit, there's another woman lined up right behind you that with open arms. There is no accountability for the men for their actions. So in order for us to fix that, we have to fix ourselves. We have to start from the very, very beginning 
saying that I am better than this. I am not going to accept less than what I deserve. And at the first sign of trouble, let those radars come all the way out. Pay attention to where this relationship is headed. Nine times out of ten, before you even start arguing, he already acting a fool. Before you get, I mean, before you get pregnant, he's already acting a fool. He's doing all the things that you don't want your man to do. So you said that a lot of women fight tooth and nails to save their relationship, and you are right. But we fighting for the wrong shit. Why in the hell are you fighting to keep trash? This man keeps letting you know over and over what he is about. But it's almost like we need bricks to be hit. It, you know, be hitting our head with bricks before we realize that we're better than that. We are better. We are single mothers, not because of the men that we, you know, be, because of the men. We're single mothers because of ourselves. Nobody can take from you what you don't allow them to take. We need to gather our self-esteem back and say, no. How, why, how are we choosing these deadbeats? to be the father of our children. I just happen to be very lucky because even though I have two kids with two different fathers, both of them are in their lives, I just happen to be very fortunate that I chose men who stuck around and who are in their children's life. But I have been with knuckleheads that I didn't get pregnant by because I could just see, A, if they already had children, I look at how they're treating their children. I look at what are they doing with their lives today? Because what they do with their lives today is directly going to affect how your life with him is going to be tomorrow. So if he is not doing shit today, girlfriend, he ain't going to be doing shit tomorrow. So even though some of the guys on some of these channels, they are basically, you know, you feel like they're bashing us. And they don't have good delivery. But... If you are being real with yourself and, and you take a moment to listen to some of the stuff that even the, the biggest hater on there, I, I can't even lie and say uh, Willie Pete don't have some of the uh, some good um, information for us black women. His delivery is just so full of shit. But a lot of some of the things, most of the things that he said, there are is some truth in it. But we get so angry when we are asked to look at ourselves. But what needs to happen, nobody should tell us to look at ourselves. Look at your girlfriend next to you. She's having the exact same problem that you're having. I can say I know countless single women. And we all get together for drinks. And you know what we do? Sit around and talk about how niggas ain't shit. We are the ones who are capable of changing this situation around. We have been the upkeepers of the black family. Now it's time to require more from our men. And those men who are good to us, those men who come through our lives and they may not have that roughness, rough edge around them. Because although we don't like thugs, we want a man to come to us in with all his masculinity. We want to know that he'll kick a motherfucker's ass for us. We want to know that. And unfortunately, because we need that sense of security, that sense of protection, we end up with thugs who are all brute with no brains. We need to embrace the brothers who are educated and who might not necessarily be a street fighter and find those qualities in him and embrace that. It is all about choices, my sister. It truly is all about choices. And I don't know how you feel about it, but I am the controller of my life. I am responsible, along with the big man of his stairs, for my destiny. No brother, nobody on YouTube, just me. And as a woman, we need to start taking responsibility for ourselves.